Hey guys, Brett from Manning Maintenance here. Bit of an unofficial review on uh, something that I purchased today, but uh, don't tell Adina. Um, and uh, just about the night that I've had at uh, Wingham Farm Machinery here spray painting, which has been a little interesting to say the least. Um, I've lost a few tools, I've gained a good one, and uh, I'm very, very happy with the, uh, the results. So just to fill in the blanks, guys, we have tonight been using the Concept Paints Unicolor Hardener. Uh, it's a fast hardener as well, this one here. And we've been using that in conjunction with a uh, Gloss Black Rust Guard. So it's a white knight product. Uh, it, I believe it's available from Bunnings, quite easy to get hold of. Now, as far as the negatives go, um, I have here a Blackridge tool which was purchased from uh, Super Cheap Auto. And uh, obviously this pipe has uh, just fallen off. Now, just looking at the pipe itself, for some reason there's quite a fine thread on the end of that pipe, which renders that feed tube extremely thin. And uh, as you can see, this is where it would fit ordinarily, and it's literally just snapped clean off. So. I didn't actually get a chance to use that at all tonight, but that normally, this gun here is my um, primer gun, and uh, it has a two millimeter tip, and uh, has a really good flow rate, and a, quite a large pot as well. I believe that's a 750 mil pot. So it's, a, it's quite a large pot, which means I get a lot of spraying without stopping, without wasting much time. Um, went to what I thought would be my backup gun, which uh, is an air power. And it's a super tool product. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I do believe that also is a super cheap auto gun. Um, the two have very few similarities, but um, this may have been an older version. Uh, for some reason, once filled with paint, uh, the cam locking mechanism here, which holds the lid on the top, won't actually seal for some reason. And there is a gasket in there Everything is as it should be. Checked everything underneath. She's locked up tight. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, obviously not the most expensive of guns, but would have done the job should it have worked. But uh, apparently that one <laughs> didn't like me either tonight. But uh, this is my Iwata uh, AZ3 HTE2. Now these are an Italian made gravity fed gun. This was purchased locally at Rocket Tools. Big shout out to Wayne there. This gun is amazing. Uh, it's an absolute workhorse, and this will do everything from finish coating to priming. Uh, it Once again, it has a two mil tip, and uh, just a really, really well made piece of equipment. And, and having said that, this is the bottom end of their spectrum of tools. So this is the budget end, um, as you can probably tell by the canister being Perspex. But um, yeah, apart from that, very, very good, extremely reliable gun and relatively light on the trigger. Um, now, having reviewed these, I have purchased from Bunnings uh, recently a Ross spray gun. Now, these are a $15 gravity fed spray gun. They are a 12 month warranty, which is good. You know, these are, I should imagine as far as tools go, these would be the XU1 equivalent of spray painting gear. Uh, if it breaks, you take it back, they give you another one, which is great. Um, you know, for what I need, these are obviously a Chinese made tool, but uh, the model number, item number, and general purpose information is just there. And if I spin it around, I believe the technical information is on the back edge there if you would like to pause it at some stage. So the difference between this tool and my other guns is that this is actually a 1.5 millimeter tip. Now, what that means is, um, that gives me much more control over application of paint. Um, on larger jobs, it means obviously that it's gonna take a little longer, and you, but you get a much uh, more atomized or, or finer flow of paint, as opposed to the uh, two millimeter Iwata gun that we have here. So just um, looking at the gun, I, I, I'm shocked that they can actually build anything like this for $15. I, I have no idea how they do that. Uh, obviously some cheap labor involved. Now the componentry on top obviously doesn't have any sort of uh, proper breather valve. It's just literally a hole punched in the top 
which can potentially make a bit of a mess um, should you attempt to get a little uh, heavy handed with the liquid pot on top. But uh, as far as the gun performs, I I'm extremely surprised. And the finish straight out of the gun is much, much better than that of the Iwata, which is, you know, at a disadvantage, obviously, being a larger tip. But um, I, I just, I wanted to really give the guys at Ross a big shout out because this is just absolutely pleasantly surprising. This gun has laid down an incredible coat of paint tonight. And the only negative thing I can say about the gun is that the trigger is extremely heavy for something so small. Um, maybe something that Ross is going to look at in the future, I'm not sure. But uh, aside from that, extremely easy to use, extremely easy to clean. Comes straight out of the box with all the fittings. Um, and sort of hasn't let me down at all tonight. It's, it's been quite a shock for $15. I'm very, very surprised. So, um, just to give you an idea of the finish, I'm not sure how the lighting's going to react here, but now this is, this is an industrial paint. This is, you know, not too packed. And uh, the gloss on this uh, bale grab here at Wingham Farm Machinery is just absolutely beautiful. And the level of control on that gun is just amazing. I mean, I, I hope the video is giving this some sort of um, due because uh, this has been a great bit of gear tonight and it really has saved my bacon. So, big shout out to the guys at uh, Bunnings. Thank you very much for the bargain. And uh, yeah, so I, uh, I've had a very interesting night painting. But uh, if you have any questions, leave them below and we'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, and uh, if you need any painting done, same goes. Um, if you could, please like and share. It would always be a, a valued asset. And uh, we look forward to having a chat to you again soon. So I'm Brett from Manning Maintenance and uh, this is a Wingham Farm Machinery spray painting video. So I look forward to catching up with you all again soon. I'll catch you on the flip side, maybe at the pub for a beer. See you guys.